Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be discussing the pros and cons of 23andMe and Ancestry.com. Both of these companies are companies that are um, companies that will tell you about your DNA. I was actually really kind of curious about my own DNA, so I did 23andMe probably about a year and a half ago. And um, did that, got my results, and I wanted to get a little bit more information, and I was kind of curious to see what Ancestry.com did, um, what their results would say, if they would be comparable to each other, and um, I went ahead and did that probably about three months ago, and I just got my results in, um, I don't know. It was a, a little while ago. So what I'm going to do is you guys are going to probably see me looking down at my um, laptop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting screenshots of um, them next to each other. So let's get into price. Both 23andMe and Ancestry.com offer a DNA kit for $99. 23andMe offers a genetic testing kit as well. Um, so it will look into, say, if you are, if you have a gene um, that carries, that means that you are mo uh, more um, susceptible to like Alzheimer's disease or something like that. Now these are not um, definitive. You would obviously have to speak with your doctor to get the actual, just to get yourselves a definitive answer. But it's kind of interesting to see the health um, reports that 23andMe has to offer. And like I said, that one is $199. Um, so if you are say adopted and you wanna know kind of like your family history health-wise, um, I definitely would kind of um, steer towards the 23andMe. So let me just go ahead and show you guys. I'll tell you what I liked about both companies and then I'll tell you what I don't like. So that way you guys can get like a better understanding of what company you may want to go with. For instance, with 23andMe, like I said, you have those health reports as well as the DNA report. So with your health report, you not only get your ancestry, but you also get carrier status um, with that, which tells you if you're a carrier of certain um, a carrier of certain diseases. Uh, you have your genetic health risk. You have your traits, which is kind of interesting to see. Like, obviously you know what you look like because you can look in a mirror, but it kind of tells you based on your DNA what traits you would have. They have your wellness report, um, and your wellness report kind of goes the lines of like what your DNA, like if you are lactose intolerant, etc., stuff like that. Um, you also have your DNA relatives, which both companies offer you to be able to mess your DNA relatives which is really nice so there's a lot of information with 23andMe if you get the DNA plus the health report now versus the ancestry DNA with the ancestor DNA you are going to get obviously your DNA results but they also have this interesting thing called genetic communities and so what that does is kind of breaks your DNA down a little bit and puts you in a community um, so that way if you are looking for more information on your family on yourself you'll be able to have kind of a starting point that you can kind of go off of this also includes your DNA relatives that you can go ahead and send messages to as well. So let's just start off with Ancestry. Um, I will go ahead and put the information up here. The genetic communities is something that I definitely like. The reason being is because I personally don't know who my father is. That was one of the reasons why I kind of wanted to get this. I grew up thinking that there was a guy who was my father who was of African American descent, as is my mother, um, and me and one of my sisters share the same father. And I always believe that to be true but in the back of my mind I wasn't sure if that was really right or not because my father who I thought was my father has a very um he's he's um a darker complexion than I am and my mother is a darker complexion than I am and my sister is a darker complexion than I am and even though my grandmother was a little bit lighter I still have a deep skin tone um but in relative to my sisters and my mother I am a little I am lighter um so I 
didn't know why that was. I mean, I knew that black comes in all shades and colors, so I definitely didn't question whether I was black or not, but, not, but I definitely kind of felt as though that there was something that was kind of always missing. It wasn't until I was 18 years of age that my mother told me the truth that the man who I thought was my father was not my father, um, but she didn't really give me more information than that. She just told me that he was either Mexican or Cuban. She did not know he was just part Part of the Latin community. Um, so I uh, waited until I was about 33 to kind of go digging, especially with after having kids. I kind of wanted to know my medical history um, so that they would have some information as well. So I will say that with Ancestry, they break it down. They break it all the way down. Um, so with the genetic communities, I found out that in my community, um, one of them is Mexicans in Northeastern Michael Ken. Okay, do not judge me. I'm not speaking Spanish. I I can't speak it and I'm sorry. It's something that I definitely want to um to learn. And then the other genetic community would be African America in Virginia and the Deep South. So I think that that's interesting because I can kind of dig into my African roots as well, knowing that likely we are from the Virginia area. Now what I liked about the genetic testing for Ancestry.com is that, like I said, they broke it all the way down. So I'm going to put both of the results here. So I will put the Ancestry on this side and I will put 23andMe on this side. As you can see with Ancestry, they break it down into the actual um, countries in Africa that I am from, which really gave me something that I feel as though that I could connect with and I can do more research and I can find out more about that part of my culture. So for uh, 23andMe, they just gave me a region. And uh, being that obviously my family um, comes from um, slaves, it's very hard for me to kind of figure out where to even start um, looking in Africa if it was just by region. So with Ancestry.com, I was able to break it down and I found out that not only um, is my family from Africa, obviously, but we, um, I am 15% from Cameroon slash Congo, 11% Benin, uh, Togo, and 11% Nigeria. Uh, and then obvious, and then I have, um, some smaller, like 5% from Mali, 2% Senegal, Ivory Coast, Ghana. Um, so these are all just small uh, percentages, but overall it makes up 48% of me from Africa, which is pretty awesome. Like I said, with 23 and me, they only gave me a certain um, area. And that was not something that I was really looking for. So with 23andMe, it was telling me that I was 46.5% Sub-Saharan African, and they broke that down in region with is West African, 44.4%, Central and South African, 0.9%, and broadly Sub-Saharan African for that 1.2%. So like I said, if you are looking for something that is like definitive, I would lean towards the Ancestry.com um, one because they break it down. Not only do they break it down, but they also give you information about those regions, which is really, really nice, kind of like the history behind those regions. So you have somewhere to start to find out who you are and where you really come from, which is something that I was looking for. And that is something that I was really excited to kind of dig in and, and break down. One thing that I will give 23andMe a little bit more, um, one for the pro for them is even though they don't break down your DNA as much, they give you so much more reports and you can get so much more information. So say that you were adopted personally, I would do the 23andMe just so that you can get the health information as well. Yes, that's $199. So it is $100 more than just your DNA. Um, so if you're only interested in just your DNA, 
I would go with the Ancestry.com because for $99, you will be able to pinpoint down to which actual country you are from. You'll be able to get that information. And both of them have um, to where you can go ahead and share your information with possible relatives for that DNA. Um, and you can reach out to them, which is something that is also good. I've heard great stories of people finding their birth parents. I've heard stories of people finding like their sisters, their cousins, things like that. I personally haven't um, got the nerve to actually message any of said possible relatives. I am comfortable with knowing exactly where I come from right now. I'm just a little nervous to kind of reach out um, I'm 34, so it's it's not something that is really, really important to me, I guess, to kind of have that family um, bond. I have my own family, um, but if you're looking for that, I would definitely do more of the Ancestry.com. That would be my go-to um, if you're just looking for the, to find like a long lost family member. Um, both of these um, DNA testing have loads of information so you can kind of stay on your computer for hours just reading up on things. Um, it does take a while to get your information back. They both send you a vial that you have to spit in. They give you like a little line that you have to go ahead and spit in and they give you the information that you just, the package to put it back in and mail that to them. It takes about six to eight weeks, but if they are on high demand, it can take a little bit longer to get your results back. And both companies email you back the results and you can sign in and that way you can get your results and you will have them with you um so I liked that you can kind of go off like I said you can spend kind of like hours just searching through possible relatives and finding out a little bit more about you um yeah I I definitely am happy about the results that I got back happy in the sense that I finally have answers. Um, I was a little taken aback by the fact that it said that I was 25% um, Native American, but seeing that I have the uh, genetic community in Mexico, that does make sense um, because a lot of um, the, uh, in Canada all the way down to South America, there were obviously Native Americans that lived there. So that does make a lot of sense to me. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm just excited to finally have answers for myself to kind of know where I come from. I feel like I keep on saying that and I'm just reiterating it. When you have questions and you want to know the answers so bad, but you just really don't even know where to start, I'm just happy that the there are companies out there that are able to at least give you somewhere to start so that you can find out more information about yourself. One thing that I will say is that Ancestry.com, I do believe for you to be able to like communicate with your um, possible DNA relatives, um, there is a fee, like it's like $60 a month. I believe I'm gonna double check that and I will let you know and kind of put the information like an asterisk here or whatever. Um, but I know that with 23andMe, once you pay like that $99, you get everything. Once you do the $199, you get the health reports on top of the DNA, on top of being able to contact your possible DNA relatives. So I will put a pro in the 23andMe for that. I'm gonna double check though, because if you don't have to pay, then it goes to Ancestry again. <laughs> So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know that it's a little something different, but I just wanted to give you all information. Um, if you have any more, I feel like I'm totally leaving out more information. So if you have more questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below and I will go ahead and give you all the information that I have, that I've looked up. Um, all in all, what I would say is, this is my final word, Ancestry, um, dot com is perfect for someone who is just trying to figure out kind of like where they come from. Like you know who your parents are, you just want to know where you come from, what countries, all that. Um, Ancestry.com uh, ancestry is great for that. If you are adopted, you have health questions, you have um, 
things of that nature, I personally would do both um, because you'd be able to break it down a little bit with Ancestry.com. But with the health reports that 23andMe offers and so much more information, um, if you are starting from square one and you don't know anything about yourself on your family side, I would definitely do the 23andMe. It is um, more bang for your buck. Um, so there you go. It really just depends on what you yourself are looking for and what um, answers you are, what questions you want answered about yourself. So again, thank you so much for watching. You know I appreciate all of you and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!